everyone, welcome to a new Minecraft series. And, well, let's see, today we're going to be building Trevor's trailer. Okay, so good. So, uh, sorry I haven't been uploading eh, in a little bit, because I just finished Michael's house, and I had to kind of do Trevor's house, and I knew that it wouldn't take too long to do since his house isn't that big. So, I have finished it now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say right now, it, it's not exactly the same. Uh, it, I'm just going to say this, heart, this house was really hard to make in Minecraft. The reason I say that is because it's a piece of crap kind of on the game. And it's all rusty and everything. And it's, it's kind of hard to do that on this game. Uh, this is one of the hardest, harder houses for me to make for that reason. It, it's it's a, it's small and cramped up, and I just need to ask you guys to um, not get mad at me or anything because it's not exactly the same. Because again, we are playing Minecraft, and it's hard to make things that are on GTA in Minecraft. Not everything can be made. So this is my version. I did the best that I could on it, and we're gonna get started right now on the exterior. So, like always, I will be building a replica over to the side, copying what I did. So, let me go ahead and get out my essentials for this. So, first things that I'm going to need is, of course, swiftness. Um, now, the main exterior part that we're going to need is uh, pillar quartz blocks. Um, oh, I got, forgot to mention, this is on the city texture pack. Uh, I don't think this, I think you can do it at any texture pack, so the reason I use the city texture pack as always because, you know, you got the paintings with TVs and microwaves, which is modern and stuff like that. Um, they're good, they're good for that to make. Um, I'm just going to use the pillar quartz right now. But, to start this thing, see, let me build it over there. So, let's start on this side, which is kind of the back part that you don't really see. So we're just gonna start. See, it's kind of elevated here. You got this under part, and then this part is kind of elevated on the outside. So this is gonna be off the ground, and it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five tall. So that's what we need to get first. That the main part of it is five tall. So we're gonna put that see, there, and take it up one, and it's gonna be five tall. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll go ahead and add this little um, kind of extent this way onto it. And that's just two blocks extending out from the top. So one, like, but they want, I want them to be facing up. So I gotta go under it and then on top of that one. And okay. So what we're gonna want to do is now that we have that, we kind of. Let's see, let's get the entire length of the thing. So if, if we're going to go at the top and we count over, let me get another block to count with. So I'm just gonna use this dirt. So in total, this thing is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. It's 32 long in these pillar courts. All right. And that will kind of get the basic gist for what we have to do. Uh, these are gonna be mainly sideways from this point. So we already got two, we need 32, so we need 30 more. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that should be a total of 32 blocks. And again, these must be sideways. So we're just gonna do the same thing all the way down. Not all the way down. We're gonna have that little spot in the bottom that's not that uh, we're not gonna fill in. 
I'm kind of expecting this episode or this series to not last very long, seeing as you know the trailer isn't very big, and that's kind of why I'm doing that now. Uh, a lot of you were probably wanting a, like other houses, and I'll probably get around to building other houses that Trevor lives in. I got a few plans for things that I want to build that are in GTA. Uh, one being the Playboy Mansion. That's one main thing that I actually really want to build on GTA. It's a Playboy Mansion. So, and it's definitely something that I want to do. On this end, we're gonna we're gonna go to this end, and we're gonna chop off the one, two, three bottom blocks right there, and these top blocks up here. They're going to be facing up the pillars, like that. Okay, so we got that shape, so let's kind of go around with this shape now. So now we're going to get the width of this. The width being, if we count the, a total, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 total in width. So we already have one. And we're gonna have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, 14. 14 was it, at least I hope it's 14. As many of you may know, I have, uh, I'm not that great of remembering things. I forget very often. Uh, even if I just said it, <laughs> even if I just said something, I tend to forget it. I'm that bad. And I'm trying to get better at it. I need to get better at it, definitely. Um, and I'm trying. I'm also trying not to say certain things. Like, um, um is a stalling thing to say. These right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make these go up. So that the, um, Eh, I just said, um, <laughs> uh, so that, I don't know, just because I want to. Now, before we ta attach this garage, I'm actually going to just go ahead to this side length. This side length is going to be eh, exactly the same as the other side. It's kind of, it's almost like a square right now. A square with a little bit of shape to it. So it's not going to be hard to duplicate on the other side, make sure that that matches up, and indeed it does. And we're going to take that up to there, and make that, alright. So then we're just going to attach these two right here, right there. And then we're going to take it along this way. There's a few things that I'm hoping will happen this month. Uh, one most notably being is getting the Elgato HD recorder. Uh, that'll be so much better for my YouTube channel. It'll be so much better because it'll bring this bright HD quality to all of you. And it could just so much easier for you guys to see. It'll make it easy, easier for me to... Um, I don't know. I think it, comes, it might come with an editing program, but I'm not sure if I'll use it. But... It'll definitely make everything better. It'll make it more convenient for me to record. And I'm really looking forward to it. At least I'm just going to on the side. Uh, the Elgato is something that I've been wanting for a long time. It's just uh, getting the money. Since I, just, I did just buy the Xbox One last month. So, uh, this month, uh, I'm going to try to get the Elgato. And if you guys know anything about recording with the Elgato. I'm also, I, you know, I do commentaries, and I need to do commentaries, and I'm just thinking, you know, what kind of mic should I get to record my voice with? I'm kind of a noob when it comes to that stuff, so just tell me what kind of mic I should use, and any kind of accessories that I'm going to need with the Elgato, if you know. Uh, any kind of extra wires that I might need to build, or build, <laughs> wires that I'm going to need to buy. So just let me know in the comment section if you know any information on the Elgato. That would be so helpful because I am looking to get it. And I'm a I'm newbie, so please help. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to the build. Now, this, uh, what do we want to do now? Let's go ahead and what I did was I took some cobblestone and this under area. 
I've got a lot of uh, hollow here. Uh, we're gonna go and if you can't really tell where that is, that's it's not under the block, but it's to the side of what would be under that block. So if we put a block there, it's to the side of that block, and the same on this. So it 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 leaves this outside area that's under the block. So we're just gonna go all the way around using this, and it's just kind of a little stand that it stands on. Um, like I said, I, I try my best to make. Uh, convert Grand Theft Auto builds into Minecraft, and they don't always go as planned. Uh, they actually barely ever go as planned. It's hard to make things from Grand Theft Auto onto here, but I do it. Alright, so now that we got that basic shape, uh, I don't want to put it in the roof yet. The roof's kind of weird, as you can kind of see. Uh, let's go ahead and put it in this window. This window should probably extend those that glass out. Let me go ahead and extend this glass out to here so it doesn't look so funky. But if we come down to this end and we come down to this part right here that's got the chopped off part, this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five where that glass will be and it'll be a two by two window. So we come here, and we got one, two, three, four, five. Those right there, and there's our two block, two by two window that you can see out of, kinda. I really wish they would take these little marks off the glass. I honestly don't know why they have them there. I like to play PC for the fact that most texture packs have that like a completely clear, except for the outside border on windows. And that's really nice. I don't know why they add that in. I mean, it's glass, it's supposed to be transparent. <laughs> it, it's, it's weird. But, um, let's go ahead and make this deck. I'm gonna use spruce wood slabs for this deck. <clears throat> Sorry guys, just getting over a cold right now. Uh, so if we come to this window, this window is right here. And... We want to come over a certain amount to start the deck on this side. So if I come to this window, I go down, and if we count this block that's under this window right here, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on the seventh one. All right, so we come here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that we're on the seventh one, we just want to go down and make that an upside down slab. Like that. And we're going to go ahead and make this deck as long how wide it should be. It should be one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six and wide. Six wide. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to go to the length. The length is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's gonna connect back to the wall. And we can just kind of fill that in. Do simple. Ah, we don't want we don't want those like that. And I'm gonna get my swiftness as well. And we'll finish this. I hate I hate placing slabs for the reason that if I miss, and I'm and I do miss a lot with slabs, then sometimes it messes up the whole thing. Like I'll break it and then I'll break the blocks under it or above it, so it's kind of annoying. Uh let's go ahead and add these stairs in. These stairs are stone brick stairs. And let's go ahead and get fences as well. Let's see what else are we gonna need? Uh, we already got our pillar quartz. We got our fences. Um, we'll worry about that later. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get it. Uh, some other materials we're gonna need is some string. And some, if we go over to the wool section, we're gonna need some uh, green carpet. Not the lime green carpet, but the uh, dark green carpet. 
and we'll work on that. But we come down to these this stair area. These stairs are three wide. And we're gonna come to the edge, so one. Oh, we don't want them upside down. We need to place a block under here. So one, two, no, three. And then right there. And then we're gonna take our fences. Our fence is gonna go there, 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 and there. And see how's it done on this side? The pillar courts. That's gonna be right behind that. So right there is where we want that pillar. And then we want the fence to go the same on this side. And the pillar courts are just going to find their way around this way. Like so. Oops. And oops. Come around this way. And there. I like them to all be kind of facing the same direction, except for these corners. These corners, I don't like them facing this direction because of these circles on the bottom and top. So I just make these go vertical like that. It's a it's a change in direction of lines, but eh, I don't care. So splash myself with some swiftness and take these fences around. Also connect over here. Great. That's lovely. Um, nice little deck there. Now let's go ahead and take our fences and we're going to put them up here and so right here is where we're going to go on this one, that edge, there should be four, four block gap, alright. So if we, come, we come over here, see this fence right here, that's where we want to put that one, come to this edge. This is where we're gonna put that one, and we want a we want four between each, so it'll be right in the middle. So one, two, three, four. So right there on the fifth one, one, two, three, four on both sides, and this is going going to go, I think that tall, which is three tall, three tall above the uh, fences that are down there, like that, and then I'm gonna take the carpet, the dark, the uh, green carpet and place it on here and this is the difficult part this is the part that you guys are absolutely not going to see I can faintly see it and it's the string the string is used to make kind of carpet look like it's floating and it's going to add that that floating carpet <laughs> I don't know how to explain it floating carpet thing over there but just take the string and you know you're not going to be able to see it but if I place a block there I can kind of see a outline where the string is in kind of a block form. You can just go up to the top of that and place carpet and see it kind of looks like it's floating. If you look on the bottom, you might be able to faintly see that little string line in there. So that's what you want. So we're gonna do that all the way around. So this is gonna be kind of like, this is gonna be really, this is hard to do. Just because you can't really see them. I'm trying my best to see them, but like I said, it's hard. So we're just going to make that, take these and connect it back to the wall. And then we can very easily take our carpet across the top of them after this. But yeah, it's really hard to see. But it does, it does give us a nice result. It gives us that floating carpet and it's the uh, what is it? Is it like is it, it's like a cloth or something that goes over the top of the building? It, it's the, its only purpose is to provide shading, so you don't get like hot. Because you can only imagine that where Trevor's trailer is, you know, live, living in that desert. You can only imagine how hot it gets there. So that's, that's to prevent the sun from you know burning you. Really nice invention by man, if I do say so myself. So yeah, we got this carpet kind of floating in there right now. Um, did not place a string there. Again, very faint to see. 
Uh, hopefully it'll be very swift with taking this carpet across here. That spot. All right, great. So we got our deck. Now we need to decorate our deck. And this right here, um, can't really get more detailed. I can't get detail than that. It's just a block. But what's there is it's a uh, red propane tank that is sitting there. And I can't really find any blocks that would look like a propane tank. So I just took a block of red wool and place it there. <laughs> uh, it it, it, it kind of looks like a uh, it kind of looks like a um, propane tanker, right? I mean, you gotta use your imagination a little bit, but if you kind of squint and look to, you know, you kind of angle your head to the side a little bit, you know, it kind of looks like a kind of looks like a propane tank in a way. Yes, so enjoy that. And now we're gonna come over here. Let's go ahead and add this. Uh, chair couch thing. Uh, this is the closest block I could find to the couch pattern. And th what this is, is it's it's birch wood. It's birch, uh, I'm gonna use birch wood slabs for this. I mean, against the wall. It's only gonna be three wide. And it's gonna go, gonna go like this, three wide, and then like that. And then we're gonna get, ooh, it's raining. And that's kind of interesting. The rain is actually going through the carpet. It's like the carpet's not even there. Well, that, it prevents you from sun. It does not prevent you from rain, apparently. Rain goes right through it, so. Uh, not, not too great of an idea. And, okay, so our table, this is oak wood slabs that I got, by the way. Yeah, let me see how long this table actually is. It's, it's gonna be four, four wide, it seems. This table does look a bit big. And I'm actually, right now, I'm kind of thinking of shrinking it, because the table's not that big on the game. So that's our four wide. But, uh... Hmm. I don't know. Do I want to shrink this? I don't, I don't really know how I would shrink this. And I'm just gonna take my slabs, go upside down slabs there, upside down slabs here, make a full block. Wait, no, that's too big. All right. Nope, under that. All right. So yeah, we got our table. I really do wanna make that shorter. That table looks too big. Let's make it shorter. Let me just put that there that there. And that'll work. That'll, that'll work as our table. Alright. Mm, so more exterior design. Let's go ahead and add the windows and the door in here. These windows, we come to the, our little propane tank here. We're going to go above it. Two blocks and there's a window right there. So propane tank up right there. All right, and then our door is going to be, we come to the propane tank again, it'll be one, two, three, four. That will be the door. And it is thunderstorming on Minecraft. One, two, three, four. There's our door. Um, can you stop, please, thunderstorm? Uh, we'll, add the, we'll add the door later because I didn't actually do it here. There's not supposed to be a pillar core here. Actually, let's do it now. I'm gonna put. A, I'm gonna go ahead and put a brick down there. So it's, it's gonna kind of be like a weird transition. So I'm gonna get the brick and place the brick there, and then we're gonna get the door and place it there. Great. Oh, uh, let's see. How are we doing on time? Oh, okay. So we're we've got just about hit our ma maximum of 25 minutes. So uh, that'll conclude this part one of let's build Trevor's trailer. I guess is what I'll call this uh, series. Won't take very long to do this series, and I'm still trying to think of my plans for the next series that I'm gonna do. 
it's really hard. Ooh, that thunder in the background, though. Um, I'm still trying to think of an idea to build next, and you know, I'll, I'll I'll tell you my next idea for what I'm going to build next later. But for now, this has been Wolf Strike 150. I want you guys to please hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe and comment. But um, it's been Wolf Strike 150, and Wolfie out. See you guys.